Well, good day. It's Mr. D here on the RV Investigator, um, and I'm up here on the bridge with Andrew, and uh, he's graciously uh, been volunteered by the rest of the bridge crew to answer some questions for us about what sort of things go on up here. Well, thank you, Andrew, for doing this. I know you don't really want to, <laughs> but uh, the bridge crew are pretty shy about these sort of things. So, um, you're the chief mate. Can you just tell us what a chief mate is? Yeah, so um, I'm part of the uh, bridge team, and uh, we're all uh, navigating uh, watch keepers. So, what that means is we all hold a navigational watch around the clock. So. The watch I do is between uh, four and eight. So I do four in the morning till eight, eight in the morning, and then um, four in the afternoon till eight at night. Um, and there's three uh, watch keepers, myself and the second mate, he does 12 to four watch, and the third mate does eight to 12 watch. Um, so yeah, during hours of daylight, we're up here by ourselves. Uh, we're keeping a watchful eye over um, the safe navigation of the ship. Uh, we also um, oversee whatever deck work is going on at the time. Um, yeah, and during hours of darkness, we also have um, an additional person up here who's one of the IRs, one of the integrated ratings, and they... Um, so that's their deck crew, are yeah, they? Yeah, yeah, they're like, um, yeah, like the general purpose hands on the ship that uh, that work on deck but um, at, in the in the evening they're up here to assist in looking out so um, as you can imagine at night uh, some things are harder to see um, than they are in the day so they assist us with uh, looking out so just in case there's any nets or you know other ships or something like that or yeah definitely yeah so um, you you I guess lose a little bit of perception in at, at night time. So, um, and ships uh, are often a little bit harder to detect or other fishing vessels and stuff at night. Um, so, yeah, we just we have uh, the assistance of those guys. Right, and this, so there's also the master or the, or the mm. captain, and yep. he would do similar sorts of things, but he's ultimately responsible for the. He is, yeah. So he's essentially on call at all times. Um, so if we ever need assistance, we can um, call him at whatever time and day or night, uh, whether he's asleep or not, and um, he'll come up and give us a give us a hand if there's anything that's concerning us. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. So, but he doesn't hold a watch. Um, yeah, we we do all the watch keeping up here. Uh, some other roles I have in the ship. Uh, I'm um, responsible for the uh, ship's stability and. Um, monitoring the, the uh, consumption of fuel and um, the production of fresh water and uh, stowing safely the um, scientific equipment on board yep. um, and just monitoring the loading of the ship and the unloading of the ship. Because this has been quite a long voyage, this has been 60 days this one, so we started off with quite a lot of fuel and I would imagine that's getting pretty low now. Yes, yes, we did start off with a lot of fuel. Um, just a little bit over 800,000 litres of fuel. Um, and uh, yeah, we're gonna go in with considerably less than that. Um, yeah, so uh, we have to obviously uh, monitor that as we go and um, ensure that the ship has enough residual stability as we consume um, things like fuel and fresh water and provisions. We have to ensure that the ship is still um, got what we call enough uh, stability to... Right. to um, so it's sort of like ballast yeah. type Yeah, stuff, definitely. It? So um, as we consume fuel, um, I, I pump in ballast as water, right. seawater, to keep the ship um, stable. This is a very stable ship, you know, like I've, I'm not used to being at sea and it's it's been pretty good for me. It is, it is a, a, a great stable ship, yeah, it is um, definitely... Um, we have the assistance of these uh, passive roll dampening tanks on, on board, which um, make life a little more pleasant for us. Um, yeah, which is terrific, particularly where we go. We go into the Southern Ocean, as on, yeah. like on this trip, down to Heard Island, and we get some nasty weather. So 
it's um yeah it's it's really good to have have the assistance of those tanks. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, is it possible for you to maybe explain a couple of the? I know there's lots and lots of monitors here, uh, and lots and lots of dials and things. Is it possible just to maybe uh, give us a bit of a rundown on a couple of these? Yeah. So um, this is a fully um, integrated bridge system. Um, so we have uh, electronic charts. We no longer have. Um, paper charts on board, uh, so that's a way of uh, monitoring the ship's position at all times. And um, we also have uh, a radar here, which uh, is used for de detecting um, other vessels and/or when we're down south, uh, we use it for ice detection yep. as well. Um, yeah, so we we have a radar there, uh, and we just these are. Basically, the controls of the ship. Um, these control the propellers. Um, we don't have a traditional ship's wheel. These two dials here control our rudders. We have two rudders on board and two propellers. Um, yeah, and just other. These are all controls just for the different uh, parts of the ship, the steering motors, and um, yeah, this display here uh, shows our heading, our gyro compass heading, and our speeds and. Uh, what uh, revolutions per minute the engines are operating at and what angles the rudders are um, currently at. Uh, yeah, so we just have obviously um, VHF radio communication for, for talking to uh, other ships or ashore when we're approaching ports. And, uh, yeah, we also have a bow thruster on board which um, retracts into the hull and we use that for berthing purposes and um, when we're on station for scientific operations often we use that. It helps us uh, maintain our position. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. yeah. And how long have you been on the investigator? Um, I've been on board for uh, six years since the ship came right, out. Right so, from the start. Yeah. Um, and I started off as third, third mate um, and yeah, worked my way up to uh, chief mate, which um, so I just have a larger responsibility now, and um, just uh, well, I look after the the safety training of um, the crew on board, um, obviously uh, in consultation with the master. But um, yeah, I uh, I'm I guess more involved in the day to day uh, work management on board. Safety training of all the crew. Uh, yeah. So generally, it's been pretty enjoyable the work that you do. Oh, it's it's fantastic. Um, for me, this is a, a dream job. I'm um, really quite interested in all the scientific work that yeah. goes on on the ship. Yeah. Um, one thing I've noticed is that um, when we have our seminars, it's yeah. pretty well the the crew and bridge crew and a lot of the other people sort of come in and have a listen as well. So. Oh, it's terrific. It's a unique ship. I mean, um, we all come from um, a sort of a commercial shipping type background where um, you're moving cargo from one port to another and it um, can sometimes be a little repetitive, but the, the great thing about this job is um, the variation. Yep. We, we're always going somewhere different and meeting a new group of scientists. Um, yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity and um, yeah, I, I really love it. It. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I reckon there'd be a couple of students that'd be interested in something like this as well. And so how would they make a start on a, a career in um, shipping? Um, it, it's a tough question <laughs> at the moment. Um, we, well, for us, we uh, all studied initially at the Maritime College right. um, in Tasmania at Launceston. Um, it's now um, part of UTAS. Yep. Um, so we all had to do initial pre-sea training down there um, and then followed up by um, training on um, navigation and, uh, and other s things related to, to, uh, to working on the bridge and um, yeah, it's a fairly long process. Uh, yeah, I just completed the Bachelor of Applied Science. Oh, um, wow. Yeah, and that's in my master's certificate. So. And I got my uh, Master One last year um, in September. So, 
Yeah, that took me uh, 14 years. I had a 10 year plan, but I used to work on deck as an integrated rating. Oh, right. Yeah. And that's probably good to actually do a few of those sort of jobs anyway, to get you to really familiar with oh, It's everything. been a terrific career. Um, yeah. Uh, I've worked with ASP my whole career and um, it's been great. Yeah, I, I'd highly recommend it. Um, it's, it's hard. Uh, maintaining your sort of um, home life and, the, and your working life, but um, once you get used to it, it's it's a um, yeah, it's a rewarding lifestyle. I'd recommend it. Excellent. Oh well, wow. thank you very much for that. That's been awesome. No and uh, thanks very much for letting us have a bit of a look at the bridge. Thank you. Yep.